Hey everyone, this is Ty with Spicy Exotics. Today we're going to talk about pests uh, for your dragon fruit or with your dragon fruit. Uh, a particular pest in general is uh, the leaf footed bug. And uh, basically, this bug will attack your flower buds at any stage of the flower bud. So, from a button to the day before it opens. They'll suck the juices out of the flower and basically destroy it before the flower opens to get an opportunity to pollinate it. So therefore, what you waited for all year to get to uh, flower for you to, to cherish that fruit uh, that you've been waiting again all year long for, it's gone. So it's something that uh, has become a major nuisance for us this year. We've had the leaf footed bug in the past, but didn't exactly see the damage. Well, this year um, I can stand next to this particular variety, which is our Hana. This is its second flower cycle. Its first cycle was similar to this, um, except the buds never made it uh, really past this stage. Uh, every last one of them died, which was very, we knew something was wrong. Uh, and then we looked into it and we saw we had plenty of these leaf footed bugs. And there's a couple of ways to eradicate them, but not, no uh, particular way is 100%. So you can use some pesticides. Insecticidal soap will kill it. The problems with insecticidal soap is you typically need to wash your plant after you apply the soap. Otherwise, you're going to induce some rust and some spots on your plant and your fruit. So it's some extra work. We took a different approach. Um, first thing in the morning, it's about 10, 10 30. Uh, so this isn't first thing in the morning, but typically around six, seven o'clock, uh, we'll wake up. Uh, or we'll, we're out here checking on the dragons, what bloomed, and um, we use a shop vac and we vacuum up the bugs. Uh, we do this also in the evening. We do it in the morning and the evening because the bugs seem to be uh, less agile. So this is our shop vac that we're using and um, this is some damage uh, that they're causing here and a good example of it. If it's going to fail. There's some other buds here that's going to fail. If you can look right here, Donovan, this black, that's a failed bud. And as you can see, there's no other buds on here. So that's typically a sign. If you can get up there, there's some uh, failed buds. Uh, that's typically a sign of the leaf footed bug. And I think we have a couple of examples here. Uh, I hope I get both of them. So what I just do, um, those are some big ones. And that's it. So we just walk around, vacuum them up, and typically they like the purple flowered or plants or, or species that have the stenopterous gene in it but in some cases uh, in front of us this is Donnie. oh uh, Edgar's baby and there's another test here another here We just uh, leave them in the vacuum. How many were there when he first started doing this? Uh, we were collecting about a dozen to two dozen a day, uh, equal in the morning, maybe six, uh, half a dozen, similar to what we have here. Uh, they like the shade uh, first thing in the morning. Uh, we're, we're right under a pecan tree here that's casting some shade. That's where our stenopterous plants are as well. So it may not be a shade thing. It may be they just like that sweet nectar coming off of those particular flower buds. Um, but they seem to attack 
uh, you know, our Asuntas. Uh, we have some hybrids we're growing from Don Burnett, which is uh, Connie Mayer and a uh, G1 cross. They seem to love those, and those make some really, really yummy fruits. So we're really bummed when we lose those flower buds. So traditionally, you'll lose your flower buds if your plant doesn't have enough energy. Well, our plants are huge. It has tons of energy. So that was one sign where we knew we had another issue other than the plant itself. Also, uh, if you have a plentiful amount of buds and your plant has the energy, if you're getting a lot of rains that are coming in, which we are, um, that'll also uh, create what's called a, a bud ab a aborting. So, you have a few things you can look out when your buds turn yellow. Uh, let's take a walk here. Well, I'll walk with the vacuum, see if we see any others out here in the sun. Usually, if you could see here, this is there's no other bud on this particular branch here, and it's failing. Now, this could be uh, due to uh, having multiple buds in the plant not having particularly enough energy this is a Kathy Van Orm variety but this is it right here um, just for buds to randomly fail like that that's without a doubt the leaf footed bug uh, but like I said we have the situation controlled much better now and um, because of that we have lots and lots of fruit so that's a good a sign that uh, that's been controlled. In fact, I haven't vacuumed in about a week or so. Uh, so I hadn't really seen much other than maybe one or two. Um, here's a sweet variety with some sweet nectar. This is Ohana Express. Our plant's a little small, but it is recovering from uh, uh, winter from heat stress. We got our greenhouses to like 125 degrees. So these plants were baking in the winter. Oh, uh, we needed some ventilation. Now this may be just typical bud abortion here, but who knows? Regardless, you have uh, you have flowers that are failing, which is not a good thing. This is yellow tie, and uh, bugs tend to like it as well. Now, we also have a couple of other pests. We do have some wasp. You may have seen that in a lot of our other videos. The wasps like to go in and, uh, and eat the nectar as well, but they don't seem to be causing the plant to abort. Over here, we have a Kathy Van Arm and Bruni, and haven't seen any leaf-footed bugs on this. And they'll also go on the fruit as well, but they don't seem to do as much damage uh, by uh, uh, attaching themselves to the fruit. It's really the flowers, they are very delicate. And after they land on them, those uh, flower buds that we vacuumed earlier, more than likely they're gonna fail. Uh, so it, it really just takes them landing on it and they bite like a mosquito and then they kill the flower bud. So, um, we do need some pests. I don't know if they do anything else that's good for us. Uh, so we've been vacuuming them up and it's been improving our crop and we wanted to share it with everyone. Thank you for watching.